Hi, Vigie. Hi. Because he's got a fluffy butt. I know, but... And we keep trying all kinds of different things every year for Christmas to keep the cats out of the Christmas tree. And last year we got this thing. And it's like, it's just a plastic thing and it goes around the tree. And it snaps together all over it so that you can put it on in sections. But that didn't work. Yeah, that didn't work. We thought we thought it might because they would climb up through the center of the tree from the middle and climb up from there, but it didn't work. They just started launching themselves at the tree like a flying squirrel. Knocked it over twice. Knocked it over twice. Um, so that didn't work. Um, we've tried st different sprays like the orange spray stuff. Worked for a little while, but did not keep them out of the tree so this year I was talking to my husband I was like let's put something under the tree like a cat bed to like redirect their attention and try to get them to you know to entice them to stay like on a bed instead of climbing up in the tree and he was like why don't we put that donut toy around it it's like okay nothing else is working so let's try it so we did that and this thing actually zips together back here so you don't have to like pick the tree up and put it down into the donut or anything you can zip it up around it hi fluffy that's fluffy but he's our model so we did that I can't believe it but it worked it worked better than anything we've ever tried oh, boy. Yeah, he has a scarf. We're yeah, tormenting them today. So anyway, I'll put a link down below. I have had so many people ask me where to get this thing because they think it's a genius idea. And apparently it was a genius idea because it is actually working. I've had one cat get up in the tree and pull something down. Um, and that was it. They haven't done it again. So it's actually working. And it's just like, there's a bed that kind of ties into the center of it when you're not using it as a Christmas tree skirt. Um, and then the tunnel goes all the way around to play in and that little toy hangs down and they like it a lot. Hi, Charlie Fish. You gonna go in? Put on your show for us. Dance, monkey. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. He likes that thing the most out of all of them. <laughs> He'll literally push a cat out of it just yeah, to get a spot. He will. The first night it was up there, he would not let any of the other cats in. <laughs> and Fluffy Butt got in on the other side and went around the back the back of it. Like, like, like Fish was over there and Fluffy was over on that side. Fluffy got ran out of that thing. <laughs> Trying Fluffy. to get him to play. You gonna play? Doesn't seem like it. Dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> She's so pissed. <laughs> you have to stop to get it off. Come here and I'll take it off. Come here. Can't even look <laughs> Stuck with his face down. He can't oh. lift his head. <laughs> well, not this one. Yeah. I don't know. Well, you Inga, you come here and I'll. <laughs> <laughs> Move so I can. I don't know. That was the one I grabbed. This big one? Yeah. yeah but, it's on the loose and it didn't have in the but you're so cute. There's another white lady container around somewhere. Oh, still. Oh, God. Thank you. No. There's your reward for putting up with us. Mean 
many humans. He's like, I don't want the bag, I want the fish. I know, but there's... I left all of the wrapping paper in the floor so the cats could play in it. And Fishy's having so much fun. I do like the pile of trash. Fishy woo! Say Merry Christmas! Happy New Year! No, not yet. He's so comfy in his trash pile. Olivia! Hi. Since we've got a good trash pile going. Yeah? Are you comfy? Did you have a good Christmas? Luffy's got the boxes. He's like, why aren't these boxes open for me? I opened the box up for Floofy. And Jolly came and laid his butt in it. Is your butt too big, baby? Is your butt too big to lay in the box? And we'll just lay in half of it. Hi. Go get in the bag. Get in the bag. No.